I've got the coolest new shirt. I made this shirt because I wanted to. Banana now. I sound like an idiot. Hey guys! So, welcome to Weekly Art Inspiration's bonus video edition. This week, slash for the next little while, I'm going to be trying to do where I post every week for Mermaid. And so for anyone who doesn't know what that is, it is where for the whole month of May you draw something mermaid themed every day. Which I've done a few of these challenges before. I've done a few of like the Inktober, um, I, I can't remember what the other ones are, but I've done quite a few of them. Um, I just haven't ever recorded myself doing all of them. So I'm going to try doing that. Um, this is kind of be a going to be a compilation of all of my uh, different weekly sketches and I'm still trying to figure out how that's gonna work so it'll probably make more sense once you get into the video because I figured it out by then um, but for mermaid I have my little mermaid cup right here um, it's actually it's actually for um, face painting brushes but I use it for art because they're pretty much the same thing so anyways guys we're going to get into it i hope you enjoy please make sure to subscribe down below help this channel keep growing and help all of our little community of art inspirations you know grow thrive stay inspired be amazing so anyways let's get into it so my theme for day one of mer may um, was the idea I'm actually writing a story at the moment called Crashing Surf and Mermaid Swell and so this is actually kind of like a scene slash just an idea I had of the main character named Elise who will probably be showing up in a ton of my mermaid um, works um, she has a best friend named Bianca and they both work at Ocean World which is pretty much just like the ripoff of Sea World but I don't know if I'm allowed to use that so at the moment it's Ocean World and pretty much this is just like one of her pictures uh, well two of her pictures of when her and her best friend got started at Ocean World when they were younger and then a more recent picture when Bianca finds out that her best friend is a mermaid and so this was kind of a little bit more just for myself, and I had the idea and I said I want to make it look realistic, um, or at least as illustration-wise realistic as I could, and so I wanted to put it like she had this picture, or these pictures on her dresser. Um, as we get kind of farther into the video, when I do the background picture of Elise and Bianca, Elise, her face just did not work out, so at one point we're gonna kind of cut and that's because it would have taken forever and I just was not happy with how her face was looking so that was kind of the gist of this one but this was day one of Mermaid and I'll let you watch the rest of it and I'll be back for the next day So this is a good spot to note, um, if you think that once you get better, or you know, being, a, I think of myself as a somewhat okay artist, that once you get better that you don't screw up, oh, there are days when I draw characters or their faces and I just sit there and I cringe because it's not exactly how I want them to look and that's exactly what happened with this, which is why we cut to the watercolor, <laughs> because that was kind of one of the biggest things was her face just was not working so I decided off camera to kind of work on it and I got it where I where I liked it. Um, oh, another mention is that little guy over there. You can win him. We are getting- all we have to do is get the channel to 50 subscribers guys so let your friends, family, anyone know about uh, weekly art inspirations so that we can help grow our fun, creative, inspired little family over here. I hope you guys like this. This was day one. And yeah, so I guess we will move on to day two in just a second, but yeah, keep enjoying, guys. Let me know what you like about this. Um, also, and the, sorry, I kind of jump around a lot. 
Um, but one of the other things is let me know how you like this. If you like more of the fast videos, if you would like me to do more individual videos for like the mermaid. I'm really learning as I'm going on this one, so let me know if you like the quicker videos of this or if you like a little bit slower where I give you a little bit more detail. I'm literally testing this out to see how you guys like a bonus video during these kind of challenges. So yeah, let me know about that. So this is day number two. And I actually did this and the other one on the same day because I was behind. So this is filmed right after finishing um, painting the other one. Um, and this mermaid, she doesn't have- I don't really have any story behind her. I just thought it'd be really fun to have a mermaid kind of looking down at a, at a really poisonous sea snake. I have no idea what that's called. If you know what it is, please comment below. Uh, if you guys have any ideas for, you know, different mermaids you'd like me to see- or like to see me do <laughs> during Inktober. Inktober. We're getting off track. You can tell I've only had four hours of sleep. <laughs> but if you'd, like to, if you'd like me to do any mermaids, even if it's your own character, let me know in the comments below. I honestly love having different things to work on, um, different characters to play around creating. Um, and this- so this is day three. And this is of Elise once again, but as a child. So the character from the first day, this is her as a, as a young girl. And I just, I don't usually do a lot of children in art, and so I, it was kind of another thing I wanted to do to practice. I think this is a great weekly art inspiration just because doing Mermaid, it, it challenges you. I love the monthly challenges that happen like Inktober in this because you get so much better in such a short amount of time. I would challenge and say go after doing this. It's such a great thing to do to become better and get better and, and grow and learn. So with Mermaid Day 4, I really wanted to do, I had this idea of Trident. First of all, I found some really great um, reference photos on, uh, I think it was just Google, and I found this one of a male model and I was like, oh, this guy needs to be a merman. And I realized that I don't do that many men in my drawings, and so I was like, I need to get better at that, I'm going to do some practicing. And I just really love how this came out. It honestly makes me so happy. Um, I hope you guys like it because I, I honestly really, really enjoyed myself with this one. But the story behind it is, and that if you follow me on Instagram, I posted that this is Trident and he is, well, actually, sorry, Poseidon. Goodness gracious, me and my history. Anyways, he's Poseidon and he's thinking about the girl that he left behind who is back on land. And the next one, which is day five of Inktober, which I kind of had this idea of this moody looking queen with a merwolf. And so that's kind of the idea behind this one and the fact that I was like, I wonder if he would have a sister if she would be angry and kind of vindictive. And so that's what happened is it came down to this where it is the mer queen and she is vindictive that her brother is in love with a human. So yeah. Hey guys, so that is the finished, this is the last finished uh, mermaid 
for at least the first week. I'm technically only doing five days on this one, but I'm still trying to figure out <laughs> how I'm going to do the rest of it. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you'd like to see me do through the rest of the month, um, both on Instagram as well as on the video. Um, I will keep up to date and look at what you guys would like to see me do of mermaids or mermen or mer creatures. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, please subscribe if you enjoy this. Help our little community of art inspirations keep growing. Remember that you guys are amazing and as well, as always, as just a little last reminder, we are still doing the at 50 sub at 50, we're going to have this little guy given away to one of you awesome viewers. And by viewers, I mean you incredible people who freaking support my art, which is like amazing. But I hope you guys remember how incredible you are. Please keep staying inspired. Remember you're amazing. Um, yeah, just have a great week, guys. If you participate in Mermaid, please tag me on Instagram. I'm there quite a bit. And so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. You can subscribe right up here and a few more videos will be right over here. There will be another bonus video for next week for Mermaid and there will be a few more than there were for this week, but I hope you guys enjoy. Have an incredible day. Remember that you can do absolutely anything. Practice makes perfect or at least progress and remember that every day you can get better and you can always find an art inspiration. Stay incredible, guys. Love ya.